Hello everyone and welcome to this session. Today I am going to talk about a very interesting and an important development that has happened uh, quite recently. IID Bombay, which is Shailesh J. Mehta School of Management, they have made a very big announcement. So let's talk about what exactly has been announced in their uh, information that was made available uh, to media quite recently. Now before I do that, let's first and foremost Let's talk a little bit about this great institution, Shailesh J. Mehta School of Management. Now, this is perhaps the best IIT in India when it comes to MBA program. It's an amazing place to pursue an MBA program. And this particular business school was established in the year 1995. That means this business school is almost 30-year-old institution one of the premier places, one of the dream destinations for anybody who is a serious aspirant when it comes to pursuing MBA from a good college. Now this college offers extraordinary education, amazing placements and wonderful brand value. Remember brand IIT is very powerful. So this is about IID Bombay or Shaili J. Mehta School of Management. Now let's talk about the eligibility criteria for getting admission into their program. So as far as Shailesh J. Mehta's eligibility criteria is concerned, earlier this college required a minimum education of 16 years. That means people who have done their 12th standard and then went ahead and pursued a four-year, minimum four-year of degree program, they were only eligible for admission into Shailesh J. Mehta School of Management. So engineers, even doctors, MBBS doctors or BDS, people who have got minimum of 16 years of education, they were eligible for studying in this particular college. But that has now changed. So in a breaking news, what uh, they have informed the aspirants is they said any graduate, it doesn't matter whether you are a BCom graduate or a BA graduate or a BBA graduate, any graduate can now aspire to join this great institution. But the requirement would be 60% minimum marks would be needed in graduation. This is in case of general category aspirants or EWS applicants or OBC NC applicants. In case of SC, ST and differently abled applicants, 55% minimum marks are needed in graduation. In case your college doesn't gives you a percentage, it gives you a CPI, then minimum 6.5 grade would be needed in case of general category, OBC, NC category, or EWS category applicants. In case of SC, ST, and differently able, six grade would be minimum required in graduation. Now, one doubt that many people have is what about final year students? See, final year students can also apply for this program as long as they fulfill the minimum required percentage in graduation, which is same. 60% in case of general category, OBC, NC, and EWS, and 55% minimum marks needed in case of SC, ST, and differently abled applicants. So this is the updated eligibility criteria that has been announced by IID Bombay. Now, what is the tentative timeline? Now remember, the key word here is tentative. This is on the basis of how it happened in the recent past. This may change this year, but just to give you an idea. So the notification for this uh, college is expected to be announced after CAT results. Generally, January first week is when the formal notification comes out and the application forms becomes available. Now this is an advantage. It's an advantage because an aspirant can actually have a look at their CAT performance and then decide whether they should apply to it or not. In fact, all the IITs usually release their uh, application form after CAT results. So IID Bombay form is expected to be out in January first week and usually the form is available for almost a month. So January end tentatively is when the form will uh, be available and the shortlist will be generally be announced in the month of February and interviews typically happen in between February and April. The final list of selected candidates typically comes out in the month of May and the classes usually begin in June, July onwards. So this is the tentative timeline. Again, I want to reiterate, 
do remember this is just the tentative timeline the actual dates next year may slightly differ so kindly keep an eye on the formal notification as and when it is announced so i hope you got an idea about this good news for every student who had done a three year degree program it's a very good news for every one of them so do think about applying to iid bombay as long as you are interested and as long as you meet the minimum required cat performance so friends with this we have come to the end of this session if you like this video do subscribe to our channel and do share this video with all the other management aspirants who may have pursued a 3 year degree program so that they can also feel happy because one more good option would have opened up for them as such thank you everyone for watching this video